my constituents was told that his testicles are not equal. That is why he's being dismissed or returned from the training camp. So I wanted to seek clarification from the CS to tell me what to I think when I went, is the only recruitment that I did under my leadership. The only one. And the speaker said it's a system, systemic. Systemic. It was systemic. Okay, inform him. Uh, uh, but uh, chairman, speaker, I, 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 I must uh, agree if I want to be informed. Okay, point of order. I remember, I remember some the standing orders. I know, I point know. of order, speaker. Let's hear her. I, my, my call, no, the, the, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I was calling the Honorable CS to seek clarification with respect to the concerns that were raised by my constituents that those who were successful and had reported to the training camp were being chased away over flimsy reasons. And I, and I think I can quote, one of my constituents was told that his testicles are not equal. That is why he's being dismissed or returned from the training camp. So I wanted to seek clarification from the CS to tell me what are the guidelines for one to be recruited. Somebody who is successful, he has already reported, and is being chased away. I wanted it to, to, to secure that, that law so that they, my constituents did not lose it as a representative of the yes. people of the speaker. Oh, yes, what's your point of order? Honestly, okay, Mary, it was very know? sad, very sad indeed. And my constituent lost that slot because I could not get the CS to clarify. But we hear you. Yes, uh, In fact, I had to look for a chairman of a committee to call the CS on my behalf because I thought, because I'm a small person, he can't pick mine. You are an he MP. actually picked, but you I was not helped. I was not helped. I am speaking on behalf of the people of Teso South. Good. <laughs> but you are vetting him on behalf of Kenyans. Yes. Kenyans, yes. and it did not only happen to Teso South. Many, many Kenyans were returned from the training camp. And we are told those slots were sold again to some waiting uh, rich guys with 1,700,000. It cannot continue. And we made it very clear to the CS nominee for defense that it should not repeat itself next time. Yes, Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, I want to sympathize with uh, my colleague. And that issue has been rampant, people complaining. But the only thing I'm wondering with is if the CS of defense by then could do measurement of testicles. <laughs> it's what I don't know. <laughs> That's what I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me, because uh, it's a, uh, Mr. Speaker, let me, make, let me make it very clear yes. that the grounds given for the rejection of that uh, recruit from Teso South is valid. Next year, if such a person comes, he will not be recruited into the Kenya Defense Force. Mr. Speaker, Kenya Defense Force's recruitment is different from the recruitment of the police. When people go are recruited at the sub-counties and they come, a very serious uh, medical checks takes place. A number of people are sent because of medical ailments. And I think the former Vice but Chief are of Defense. Equal testicles ailments. Yeah. There were people. Women can know Mr. that. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Only Speaker, women I think, uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, if, I, if you allow me to finish, there are many. The testicles that are going to, it's one of them. There are many, and the Chairman of Defense will agree. Point they measure. Point of order. The, let, let, let me finish before the point of order. Mr. Speaker, there are many colleagues, there are many colleagues, there are many leaders who sent me their, why their person has been chased. And in, a, in 10 minutes, the leadership of KDF could give me one, two, three, four reasons, the measurements including. So, we have women so to I am them. sure we the next. Women to assist them on not that. only, not only on this. So, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> so Mr. Speaker, uh, there are certain criteria. There are many, and those who leave, 
they are not replaced. And I think let us not discuss, uh, with your permission, the Kenya Defense Forces in a very negative. They, they, have, a, they have a special place in that. But uh, the Chairman of Defense can call the generals in camera, and uh, you, you are now talking about testicles. They will tell you something about even the teeth. They will tell you many things. And some of these things is because when you go, the, the, the training of the Kenya Defense Forces is so vigorous that you don't risk to take somebody who will die in the course of the training. So don't compare it with how the police are trained. Don't compare it with how the Kenya prisoners are trained. But I am sure the information, the reasons why many, including uh, my sister, Moishimiwa, Mary Emase. And please, uh, going forward, uh, 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 if, you, if it was in camera, Mr. Speaker, I will even tell you more. But now that it's in public, I don't want to I say Sula, what's your point of order? Point of order.